Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode here on the Juice Footage Garage. Today we're going to be working on the Camaro, uh, getting it ready for Irwindo Drag Strip tomorrow. Um, this time I'm going to do it with time, guys. Not like last time, last week where uh, we literally were trying to scramble and get the car ready like an hour before going to the track, right? So screw that, guys. Um, last week I forgot my air pressure gauge, I forgot the suction cups, I forgot the batteries. No more, guys. I'm, I'm doing this right today. This time, I can't promise you this will be every time, but for tomorrow, I should have everything prepared today. However, guys, what I do want to do today is install the MSD manifold. I have it here already. What I ended up doing is I double checked the torque specs. Torque specs look good. Uh, check the inside of the manifold. Everything looks good. This manifold here is stock. It's unported. Um, however, the flashing is not too bad. I'll show you guys. Just a tad bit up there. Nothing too crazy. I would think this is a good MSD. Not too much flashing. And well, it's going to have to do whether it's good flashing or excessive flashing because um, I don't have time to port it. And I really don't want to, guys, honestly. It's a lot of work. Um, if you guys are not familiar with flashing, flashing is during the mold process where the two plastics come together. There's always like, like that little plastic lip that gets built around the mold and well it ends up um being a an obstruction for flow right this was not too bad but in previous episodes i've done some that were really really bad so make sure you guys check those videos out i have a lot of videos on the msds guys i have a lot of them where we literally torque them to spec properly and go through that process so i won't go through that today today we're just simply going to throw it on the camaro to get her to throw a mod at it so we can see if we could go faster tomorrow at the drag strip and we're also going to get all our stuff ready we're going to get our helmets all that good stuff okay guys pretty simple uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to unhook these evap lines right here this one we're going to go ahead and take off the air intake step number one pop this guy off right here there it is screwdriver pop this guy out make sure that your o-ring is still intact there is the evap line here it goes in back of the manifold i like to unhook it from here just because it makes everything easier i'll tell you what try unhooking that from back here it ain't gonna be fun and then swing it under the fuel line all right, this manifold is ready to come out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these guys too. Swing them out the way. Okay, there we go. Oop. Make sure all the bolts are out. Okay. Oh, forgot one. Got our throttle body. There it is. All right, so now we have our MSD next to our stock LT1. Our stock LT1 looks rather flat compared to this big old belly of the MSD. I gotta say guys, the MSD is it's a really nice piece. It looks really good on these cars. I like it. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove the map sensor from this manifold, put it on this manifold. Um, the MSD comes with its own hardware. So I have the hardware here. And we're gonna swap our throttle body from this side to this side. And I do have the adapter for the LT5 throttle body to mount to the 103 millimeter MSD. Okay, throttle body is off. Okay, so now we have to steal the O-rings from this guy and throw them on this side.
Now we pull the map sensor. Inspect your O-ring, looks good. Throw it on this side. There it is. Oh, this no longer works. Go back over here. This should have the hardware here. Or did we get chips? Hmm, have a feeling we got chips. Hell yeah, we got chips. And once again, guys, my hoarding tendencies have saved the day. All right, so I found the bolt that works. Let's go ahead and re-secure it. All right, that should do it. Beautiful. Okay, what's next? All right, guys, now we have my least favorite part, which is this holes here. I'll grab a screwdriver. I hope you guys can see okay. There's a little red clip in here. Push it in, pull this out. Come on. Ah. There it goes. So now we go ahead and put it on this side. Pretty simple. Come on. There it goes. All right, that wasn't too bad. Making a mountain out of a molehill. Okay. And we are forced to remove this little pad here because the belly of the MSD is a lot fatter, as you guys can see. So we need the extra clearance. All right, let's go ahead and slap it on. Go ahead and drop in our bolts. Sometimes these take a little bit of finagling, but they'll go in. I like to do this after versus outside because then when you're trying to snake it, snake it in, um, the bolts kind of get caught up. So, I mean, as long as you don't um, tie them up and you have the ability to move it around, you'll be fine. Come on. There it goes. They're all in now. Start them off by hand. To cry, cry. One thing I would like to mention is that you cannot use the bolt that came with your LT1 manifold for this little EVAP. You have to um, use the supplied bolt because this thing is pretty small right here. So if you use a long bolt, like the factory one, you'll actually crack it. So what I did was I bought my intake manifold used so they didn't supply it. Um, I just got one that fits the threads and then I just spaced it out. So I should be good. And I'll do it by hand just to make sure. I think we're okay. I mean, it's not the most professional thing, but let's see. All right. That should do the trick. Perfect. That's good. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, we're slowly going to start in the middle. our way in a star pattern. guys and now that we torqued our intake manifold to 89 inch pounds uh, let's go ahead and finish it up so we have to connect our vacuum line from the back of the manifold so we're gonna go ahead and connect this guy make sure it clicks all right that's good let's go ahead and install our catch can back on perfect it fit just fine on our MSD we go ahead and reconnect our map sensor all right that's that 
Okay, we make sure that we didn't unplug our coils. Okay, that looks good. All right, our EVAP lines go back where they belong. There, double check. All our coils are in because we were messing with the harness. Okay, our EVAP line in the back is still good. Our fuel line clip is on. This is the most important piece right here, guys. Our clips are on. Okay, double check, triple check. Okay, that looks good. And to make our throttle body installation a breeze, I went ahead and bought this uh, solar performance adapter. And here, so you guys can kind of see some perspective. Look at that. See that? Big difference, guys. So, this is the one we're going to use. This is the one for the LT1. Installation is the same as our other one. You just simply slide this bad boy in here. And I have to say guys, solar, solar performance makes great products. I like their adapters. They're really nice. There's definitely some opportunity here. Uh, like I said, we can remove the flashing from the manifold. We can actually port match our solar performance adapter um, to match the manifold. Uh, it matches pretty good in some areas, but some areas not. So, I mean, can't get too picky with it. All of these fit really, really good. Top, the bottom. This one, this one's a little bit off, um, but this is not too bad. I think at this point with this power level we're really going to split hairs because it's not really going to do much um, because the demand like I said is not entirely there for such a big manifold so I don't think we're going to max it out to where it's going to create a whole bunch of turbulence. Put a little bit of oil on the o-ring and we go ahead and slap in our throttle body. Reinstall our intake forcefully. is now on the car with a solar performance adapter and a 95 millimeter throttle body so hopefully this will render some gains at the track tomorrow now that we have alleviated that bottleneck defect that happens when you have the larger 95 millimeter throttle body to the lt1 we shouldn't have that issue now because now we have an msd so all that's left here to do is take it to the track and see what happens but first let's start it up and make sure that uh it runs and no check engine lights and we did everything right. No funky idles, no funky uh, check engine lights. Uh, so we seem to be in good shape. So let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. Come back, recheck the bolts, make sure our torque specs on point and um, we should be good for our window drag strip. Got my helmet in here already. I got some new suction cup mount that I bought, so we should be good. And I may be excited, but I don't know. I think the Bud Dino reads some power here. I think so, guys. I think there's some power here. see you guys at our window drag strip tomorrow and well let's hope we could beat our time later guys. 